y'all, I'm Tamara and welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here because today I have my latest Sephora haul to show you. Some of these purchases were actually inspired by products I tried at Sephora. If you have not watched my Sephora videos, I will link them down below. Check them out. It is an amazing event. Sephora held it in person again this year after a three-year hiatus. So I'm so excited that I was able to go. It was in New York. Check out my video to find out all about it. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoy this video and that you will hit that subscribe button and come back as part of my community. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Your support means the absolute world to me. Thank you all for everything. As always, I will have all of the in-stock products linked down in the description box below. It doesn't cost you any extra to shop using my link. If I have inspired you to purchase any of these lovely products, please consider using my links. It goes a really long way to help support my channel and you can still use your coupons. You can still use your rewards. I just make it a lot easier for you to find the products that I talk about. With that, let's dive into the haul. So the first product I picked up is this Sol de Janeiro Chirosa Travel Perfume Set. It has the original OG scent, which is the 62. We have the 68, which I'm pretty sure is the Beja Floor Fragrance, which is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. We've got the 40, which is the Plum Vanilla. Not my fave, but these two definitely are. And then we've got Rio Radiance with Solar Tubros. I don't think I've smelled that one. Here is what it looks like. You get a one ounce bottle of each fragrance and this is what they look like. I'm going to try this one because I want to make sure it's the one I'm thinking of. Yep, this is definitely the same one in the Beja Flor fragrance. Love it so much. When Sol de Janeiro does these body mists and these sets, they sell out pretty quickly. So if you are interested, I highly recommend picking it up very soon. Next, another fragrance I purchased is the Love Shack Fancy Moon Dance Eau de Parfum. How beautiful is that packaging? Of course, Love Shack Fancy is going to come up with a gorgeous floral package. This one's actually been on my radar for a couple months since I first smelled all three fragrances while visiting my daughter in Austin, maybe in August, as soon as they came out. August, September, I can't remember. But you guys, look at that bottle. How stunning is that? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that bow. The bottle is like ceramic. The bow I think is plastic, but this is a gorgeous bottle. The perfect addition to any vanity. And the Moon Dance fragrance was my favorite out of all three. It has notes of Velvet Rose, Dreamwood, and Magnolia. I love anything with notes of magnolia. These fragrances have been selling out. They go in and out of stock constantly. So if you are interested and you see it in stock in store or online, definitely pick it up quickly. I got one last fragrance. This is Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. I actually discovered this one in my Sephora Gold Key swag bag and I fell in love. It is a pricier fragrance, but it is absolutely worth it. I cannot get enough of this one. It smells so good. The top notes in this one are Osmanthus, Jasmine, and May Rose. The middle notes are Indian Tuberose and Narcissus. I am obsessed with any fragrance that contains Narcissus. And the base notes are Amber and Cedar. Oddly enough, I've been really drawn to fragrances that have Cedar base notes lately. I don't know why. It's a big surprise to me. So the fragrance story on Killian's website says, Half innocent, half voluptuous, the apricot-tinged Osmanthus Absolute, Orange Blossom, and Rose of May Absolute that open the fragrance are beholden by the ultimate temptress, an explosion of the three sirens of flowers, tuberose, jasmine, and narcissus. It is absolutely heavenly fragrance. I am so in love. I cannot resist picking up this mini holiday rare beauty blush and glow set. How cute is that? I love rare beauty so much. This set contains two blushes and two liquid highlighters. The blushes are in the shade Wisdom. 
beautiful and virtue so this is a really pretty like a peachy apricot shade wisdom is a lovely darker pink shade perfect for fall then the highlighters oh this is beautiful rose gold this one is called transcend beautiful beautiful rose gold and this one is called magnetize i am really excited to try all four and let y'all know what i think i also picked up two laneige lip sleeping masks this is my all-time favorite lip formula it's perfect when you have chapped or dry lips and i literally use it every single night the peppermint flavor is a returning favorite i got this last year during the holidays and oh, it smells like fresh crushed candy canes. Surprisingly, it is white. I don't know why. I always expect it to have a red and white swirl, like a little peppermint, but it smells so wonderful. And then the other one I picked up is Caramel Apple. I can't remember if they had this one last year. I know they had pumpkin spice last year. Oh, that smells so dreamy. It literally looks like caramel and it smells amazing. Next, I was gifted the Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer in the lightest shade, but it is so long lasting that when it's really hot and humid, if my foundation starts to melt, the concealer stays on and it looked really, really stark white. So I wanted to get a slightly darker shade for when I self tan. So this is in shade 4.25 carry on which is a light medium cool tone definitely darker than the shade I already had so I'm super happy to have this y'all I am beyond impressed with this formula and y'all how cute is that package it's like a little pencil adorable speaking of concealers i also picked up the huda beauty faux filter color corrector in the peach shade this keeps selling out on sephora so again if you see it in stock online or in store pick it up i hear that it is pretty much a miracle worker when it comes to dark under eye circles and that is what it looks like i'm super excited to check it out next are two products i was inspired by at sephora Euphoria. So when we went to Patrick Ta's booth, he had makeup artists in his booth doing blush touch-ups for all of us. This is the shade they used on me. It's called She's Flushed. I love how luxe Patrick Ta's packaging is. And so this is the shade I got. You've got the powder shade and then the cream topper shade, gorgeous. And then the shade they used on my daughter is She's a Doll. So I bought this one for her. In past years, they had a section at Sephora where you could actually purchase products. I don't recall seeing one this year. If you were at Sephora and they did have a section where you could buy products, leave me a comment down below. For example, in 2019, they debuted the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and I bought it there, wrapped it in bubble wrap, hand carried it home in my bag. I was so excited to get my hands on it early. And I don't remember seeing that this year. They would have made a killing if they sold these blushes right there. But this is She's a Doll. I might actually buy this one for myself as well. How perfectly pink is that? Beautiful. And speaking of Patrick Ta, his major face holiday palette was actually leaked during Sephora, so he had to to launch it very fast. This one sold out very, very fast. If it is in stock online, I will find it and link it down below. And you guys, how gorgeous is this? So you've got two blush duos and then you have four sparkly eyeshadows absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this one. I was also inspired by the Fenty booth at Sephora to pick up this beautiful new lip gloss. This is the Gloss Balm Crystal in Hologram. Fenty Gloss Balm is probably my all-time favorite lip gloss. And you guys, how gorgeous is that? absolutely beautiful. They showed this and a lot of her new holiday products at Sephora and of course I had to order it as soon as I got home. I was also inspired by the lovely Danessa Myricks to pick up the Lightworks Volume 5 palette. She debuted this at Sephora. Again, I don't remember seeing any place to purchase it there. She would have sold out. But you guys, can we admire that gorgeous packaging? And look, 
at these shadows. So, so pretty. I am super excited. I got a mini eyeshadow in the shade Fearless in my gold key swag bag and I've been playing with it and it is so, so pretty. Let me know if y'all wanna see some swatches. And finally, the last three products I picked up, I actually bought direct from Hourglass, but these are available on Sephora's website as well with one slight variation. These are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palettes. Hourglass comes out with a beautiful holiday palette every year and last year they came out with three different varieties in these beautiful animal themed palettes. Of course I had to buy all three and I promised myself I would only buy one this year but y'all see how that worked out. So this is the snake palette. How beautiful are these shades? So you have a good mixture of highlighters, blushes, and a bronzer. Then this is the jellyfish palette. And again, you've got a little bit darker blush, a little bit darker bronzer, and some beautiful highlights. The owl palette is exclusive to Hourglass's website. What they let you do on their side is they let you customize. So you can choose the packaging that you'd like and then choose the color palette for the inside shades. So I customized mine. I got the Owl palette, but I chose the shades from the Leopard palette. So I have the shades from all three palettes, but then I just have the Owl on the cover of this one instead of the Leopards. These are slightly darker blushes and bronzers as well. I am so excited about all three of these. I love Hourglass. And then I also picked up this gorgeous snake brush. How pretty is that? I don't know if this one's available on Sephora. I will look and I'll see if it's also still available on Hourglass and link it below if it's available. So that is it for my haul. If you are looking for ideas for the upcoming Sephora holiday savings event, definitely check these out. Again, like I mentioned, I will have everything that's in stock linked down in my description below. And again, if you enjoyed this video and you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week.